Tonight, new details in the killing of a woman on a street in San Carlos. Jose Solano Landetta is charged with murdering Karina Castro with a sword. He's now undergoing a mental health evaluation to see if he's able to stand trial. KTV's Brooks Jarose was back in the courtroom today and spoke with the victim's family friend who says Landetta is faking his mental state. Enter the man charged with killing the mother of his infant child with a sword. Jose Solano Landetta, who goes by Rafi Solano, was chained, shackled, and wrapped to prevent him from hurting himself. His mental state called into question in court. I just think this is just a big act, and it's brutal, and I just want justice for Karina. Karina Castro, a mother to two daughters, was gruesomely murdered on this San Carlos street last Thursday, where a memorial now grows. Solano's attorney asked for a mental exam before the criminal proceedings continue. A judge assigned two doctors Tuesday. They'll have eight weeks to determine if he's competent to stand trial. For the second day, Solano remained silent with his head down, angering the victim's family and close friends. It's a rage. We feel rage. I feel that he's a coward for standing there and having no remorse for anything. He seems dead set and ruminating at this point in time. Solano's attorney says despite trying to communicate with him, there's no getting through with a history of mental illness. It is a <clears throat> sadly a, a soul that is riddled with schizophrenia and I'm hoping that um, these doctors can come back with an evaluation uh, that will lead us to get him where he needs to be in the system. But for those who knew Castro, they say there was also a history of domestic violence and a protection order against Solano that was often ignored and violated. Friends and family now fear he'll never be held accountable for the alleged crime. We're just waiting. We just want justice. That's all we want. And we want to keep her memory alive and beautiful because that's what she is and that's what we want to keep it as. Brooks Jarose, KTVU, Fox 2 News.